I attempted to set up a rocket pool node like a week ago, but got busy with something else. I'm gonna finish it when I get home from the conference. My take on this, I think we gotta back up and start from really first principles here. Okay. So Tolly will tell you, your node requirements can be whatever you want. As long as you can put it in a data center and it's not more expensive than the revenue you'll get from running that validator, it's fine. Because asset issuers will be able to run those validators. The place I think Tolly's coming from is that on-chain applications that he's thinking about are tokens that have issuers, that have people who can do exchanges with on-chain versus off-chain representations of an asset. That thesis, I think, is demonstrated pretty well in Solana, right? They're, they're looking at some of this, this real world asset stuff. They're going big on stable coins and trading. And for stable coins, probably Circle or Tether, it's very easy to get a hold of them. And it's easy to think about that mental model. On Ethereum, we have this idea that we don't want to have any dependence on anyone off-chain. That means there's no issuer. And if there's no issuer, you need some notion of whoever this on-chain state is important to needs to be able to verify the network. That's called running a node. It's not a validator. The tricky thing here, if we have a light node set up like Celestia, a lot of the way down the line there, I'm just getting I have a Celestia light node on my phone. If we have something that's a little more beefy, you can put on a Raspberry Pi. But then we have to back up and say, what's really slowing us? What part of this is slowing us down? To a large part in Ethereum, it's not solo stakers, it's not solo validators, it's the proposing duties that those validators are doing. If you have a poor internet connection, or you have a lot of latency, or you just go down because your internet goes out or your electricity goes out, you're slowing down Ethereum quite a bit. I'll mention we have like a million validators on Ethereum. That's way too many for the kind of scale we want to achieve. Yeah. We have to own that down. I say all this to kind of get at the point that the validator question is one of who is running the node and why do they need to run the node? Issuer, they have billions of dollars on chain. They don't need to worry about these node costs. If there's no issuer and you need to make sure that you have your self-custodial tokens in your account, maybe you do need to run node. We have to balance that. Anything I say about eliminating solo validators and solo proposers on Ethereum today is temporary because we have a plan with the Beam chain yeah. for what doesn't go to feather staking. This is a Google Pixel smartwatch. In five years, I'm going to be able to run Ethereum validator on this smartwatch.